Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today I'm gonna bring you along with me for 24 hours in the life of a college student. This is my first week back from spring break and I only have one day of classes this week and it just ends up being one of my busier days and so I thought it would be fun to just bring you along with me for the next 24 hours and show you me getting back into my groove of things for class. And so I'm gonna bring you through every little part of my day. Because I've done weeks in my life and days in my life, I feel like I was able to kind of space out my filming more, but now I'm gonna kind of film everything and anything. It is currently 8.40. It's Tuesday, April 9th. I just got back to my house here for class tomorrow on Wednesday. I interned today at home, drove up from San Diego, and when I was getting off the freeway, I got some Chick-fil-A and I just got a sandwich. I'm gonna eat this and also start some homework, probably watch YouTube as well. And yeah, I was gonna say something else. I will see you guys tomorrow for my busy busy day wonderful wonderful good morning everyone it is now wednesday it is currently 7 40 i just woke up a few minutes ago i had the hardest time trying to fall asleep last night I don't know why. I don't know if it's just a new environment or I just haven't been here in a while. New environment, same thing. I don't know. I am half asleep. I said this before in a couple of other videos, but for some reason I film when I'm half asleep. Don't know why, but I am now going to start getting ready for the day. I have class at 9. I have my mass media writing class and these 9 a.m. classes are not for me. Not for me at all. I want to leave a little bit early today because I go and pick up some breakfast. I haven't got this in a while, so I'm really excited, but I also need to pick out my outfit. I put on this jacket because I had my fan on all night and I'm kind of cold, but I know that it's going to be like 85 today, so I have to find a good balance between dressing you know for like the chillier morning but then also it's gonna be warm by like 11 or 12. okay let's see um i was thinking of wearing this little baby doll dress it's one of my favorites i got this on depop okay i have this madewell top that could also be a sweater or is like the two buttons like this has buttons this has buttons is that weird i actually kind of have to leave in a few minutes <laughs> Oh, I gotta speed this up. I am all ready for the day. I'm gonna give you an OOTD and then I'm gonna head out the door. I'm not running too late, which is good, but usually I'm running very behind on Wednesdays. Here's my outfit. I'm just wearing this little baby doll dress I thrifted a couple years ago. It has some roses, like a little button down. I'm obsessed with this. It's also just super comfy because again, it's gonna be warm out today and I'm also gonna be sitting in class all day. Then I'm also gonna wear my little Madewell top. I'm just gonna like wear as a sweater. I thrifted this for like $2 and it's super good quality. I'm obsessed with this. I will see you with my coffee. We have the fills. I'm gonna put my order on the screen. Honestly, I probably shouldn't do this, but I do want to do this more often. Like, it was just kind of fun to get a little treat before class. I'm a decaf girl through and through. I just... I can't take caffeine well, unfortunately. Their decaf is really good. I got it iced today, and some people don't like the fact that it comes in this cup and it's iced. I personally love it. I can't complain. I think it's so cute. I also have my breakfast burrito. We'll do a little taste test in a second. This is the bacon and egg. I don't know what else is in it. I think like potatoes and cheese and everything amazing and delicious. So yeah. Mm. That's really good. Okay, I'm gonna head to school. I'll see you when I'm there. Cheers. I'm just living that life on Dutch. I should listen to that. Oh, oh. Okay, let's put on some music. We've got suggestions to help you plan your festival weekend, whether you're on the grounds in Indio or live streaming from home. Will Taylor Swift appear as a guest with collaborators and friends Lana Del Rey, Jack Antonoff, or Ice Spice? There are tons of cool acts. Whether you know them or not, here are our suggestions this year. Okay. 
I will edit this. Okay, I'm gonna try using my voice memos to record audio better, but I just got done with my mass media writing class. Honestly, it was kind of fun today. As you saw, I got to speak on like the teleprompter and we are focusing right now on broadcast writing. So that was kind of fun. It was different um, and I've developed a really good relationship with my professor. She's really nice. And that's the one thing I do recommend is making those connections with your professors because they, you know, can be very valuable to your career. And I know my professor has a long history in public relations and marketing and things like that. And you don't even know the kind of connections you can have with your professors, just like on like a professional level, like business wise and stuff. And I am running late. Um, I'm logging onto a webinar right now for my internship and I need to take notes and I'm, I'm running late. I'm running late. Okay. 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 I gotta go. Bye. I think you should. I think I'm gonna... You're going to pass. I think I'm going to pass. I'm gonna... Yep. Uh, I'll still listen to it. Listen to it. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's so hot for no reason. Okay, hi everyone. I am now done with class for the week, for the day. I only was on campus one day this week, so it was nothing crazy. Sorry, gotta lock your cars, ladies. Yeah, today was honestly kind of fun. And I had my entertainment. It's basically the intro class to my major, which is entertainment communications. And in in that lecture, we were talking, we're talking about radio and like the music industry right now, because you focus on different industries. So we did like special events, uh, film and television. He asked us like, what is the most, like what was the number one streamed song last year? Which I'll give you time to guess, three, two one flowers by miley cyrus we were talking about like miley cyrus being like country artist and i was saying have you listened to hannah montana and that got a few chuckles out of the class chuckles Ugh, i don't know why i said that but who laughs out of people and then i was just like going along with it and i was telling him to listen to hannah montana too such a fun class and it kind of made the whole class a little bit lively because lectures can become so boring just inevitably and then i was sitting in the library reading because i was waiting until 3 p.m it's 3 15 for my friend Lindsay to finish up doing something you saw her in my second class today we are going to kava which i'm so excited about i have not had kava maybe like four or five months i love it so much so we're gonna go do that there's not one super close to here so we got a little bit of a drive but i'm so hyped for some kava see you guys when i'm with Lindsay. that was crazy that we was got so lucky ah, that there was, was like crazy. a whole car pile up and there was this cop going wee 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 looking at where do i look you guess the camera that's a viewfinder <laughs> We got so lucky, we almost got stuck behind it. Anyways, we're going to Kava. Now we're going to Kava. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for telling the vlog. Is it how I turn? Look. <laughs> we just got done um, trauma dumping in Kava, and it was a really fun time. <laughs> it was a really fun time. It was a really fun time. I will say something we learned today is we are both um, very big, empathetic people. We have empathy just running through our veins every second of the day. There was an old lady eating by herself. No. And she didn't like have like a book or like something on. She was <laughs> She's oh. probably like the happiest little old lady just doing her thing. And like, but because, not to us. No, if I see like someone my age out in public alone, I don't think anything of it. No. But we did um kind of interrupt something. <laughs> they were totally on a date. They, but they worked there. Yeah, there were the two workers at Kava and the sexual tension. <laughs> so was insane. so insane. We had to leave. And they. <laughs> We did inhale our food in five minutes. I think we were so really hungry. Good. We ordered it on the app so we'd get there. But since Lindsay is here, I thought you could tell a little vlog about yourself and we're in, we're also in the, like the same major and just how your experience like the semester has been going at both our first semesters. I have a really hard time making friends. So I transferred from a different university. I kind of just like showed up and went to class and then went home because I was a commuter. So I didn't really spend any time on campus. Go out of your comfort zone and do things. I, we met at 
well we met in class but we like really met at a club meeting yeah yeah so like and i i slid into her dms I yeah. had to like, I think bouncing off of you, I don't want to talk. You already hear me talk, so I don't want to like shut away from Lindsay, but I did slide into her DMs because I saw she was in the same online class as me and her post was the first one on like this discussion post about me section. She was wearing her pleasing Harry Styles sweatshirt. She said she liked Taylor Swift. She won tickets on the radio for the Eras tour. And so I found her on Instagram and then we realized we have not only an online class together, but an in-person one. Yeah. So we have on our lecture together and we sit together and yeah it's so fun and I think if I didn't reach out to you we probably like wouldn't have talked and you just no. would have been another face I recognized in the class and, and so on the first day I saw you sitting like we we literally sat across the aisle from each other do you have anything to say about our major some people I don't know how little web people have found my channel who are in the same major as us oh and so that's why I'm trying to like bring up some insight mm -hmm. I'm gonna bleep this out We're gonna head back and I will see you guys when I'm at home. Bye. Bye! I am now home. I had such an eventful, busy day. The first thing I did is change into some comfy clothes and rotted in my bed for a solid hour. It is now 6.45 and I am going to first finish this book that I've been reading. I told you guys in my last video, I want to integrate more book content into my videos. And so I am currently reading, let me get it out, Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. She is one of my favorite authors. I have read every book of hers. And then I was just scrolling on TikTok and someone said her new book came out. And I immediately purchased it on my Kindle, which is something I love about having a Kindle is if I didn't have my Kindle, I'd either have to wait to order it online or just like go to the store, but I could just buy it on my Kindle and read it here and there. And then also the cheaper on a Kindle. That's my little update. Both of my camera batteries are about to die. So I am gonna go charge them and recharge my social battery because I also have some homework to do. <laughs> and I like have no energy. Chit chat with you later. Currently 9.15, I finished my book. It was so cute, I loved it so much. If you wanna see my review, I have it on my Goodreads account linked down below. And then I took a shower. My hair is looking so good for being day two. I put some of my favorite hair oil in it and so that is feeling good. It was so hot today so I tried to keep my hair out of my face for most of the day but I feel like when it's really warm, I tend to sweat more and my hair just gets really gross. But don't know why I had to state that out loud that I did. Anyways, I was not too hungry for like dinner or anything. I had kava at like 3.45, 3.30. And so that filled me up. I honestly was not expecting to down that whole bowl, but your girl was hungry. So I thought I would just have a little appetizer snack uh, before I go to bed because I hate waking up hungry. So I just made these you don't do that these pot stickers from trader joe's i have them in my freezer i don't have any real like groceries in my fridge right now and so this will do i hope that i filmed enough of today i feel like i tried to film like every second or as much as possible so i hope i got to really encapsulate what a day in my life looks like in 24 hours i started this video 24 hours ago i'm gonna finish my pot sticker and drink some tea. I hope you liked this video. I know it was a little bit different, but I'm trying to spice up the content and I will see you all very soon with another video. Bye.